right, let me ask you something. Do you do things because you want to, or you think you should? Hmm. Hello, lovely people of YouTube, and welcome back to Mark on Life. Thank you, everybody, who watched uh, last week's episode of Real Perspectives, which was episode four, Friday the 14th. Um, if you haven't seen it, again, as always, I will leave a link in the description and a link at the end of the video as well. So this week has been um, an interesting one. Ups, downs, all sorts of stuff. The good stuff, I have um, been doing lots of improv. Did a gig at the London Improv Theatre last night um, with a group called The Inflatables, which is a, a short form group with some fantastic people. Um, they do a show where once a month with a long form group called Music Box. So uh, I'll put details for the next one. Um, so come and have a look, come and check us out. Um, was writing the next episode of Real Perspectives, which is Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and some other good stuff, uh, playing Mass Effect Andromeda, which has got a lot of hate on the internet, but it's actually really rather good. Uh, and some not so good stuff, had a bit of a career setback, which was um, not great, but as with all these things, they make you reevaluate stuff. If you're the type of person that just dwells on it and uh, sees the bad, then you, you're never going to get anywhere. If you, if you see the opportunity in it to, to change, then maybe you can. So that's the way I'm trying to look at it right now. But it also makes you think of why you do what you do, particularly in our business. Um, for actors, entertainers, comedy people, whoever, we do, at the moment, way more than people ever see. Um, people not in the business may think that it is still like it was, um, you know, 50, 60 years ago where, you know, you get an agent, keep going for auditions and that's it. And I wish that was the way it is. Now, actors have to do 20 times that amount of stuff to even get into a single audition. People have the image that an actor's life is just rejection, rejection, rejection. And if that's what your life is like as an actor, you're doing pretty well. Because it means you are having the opportunity to be rejected again and again. Most people, most actors, um, aren't even given the chance to fail. You know what I mean? If you know an actor out there and you're thinking um, you know, that, they're, that they're auditioning every week for, for Holby and The Crown and Star Wars and Peaky Blinders and whatever you watch... I can tell you they don't, you know, they absolutely don't. Or if your friend does, then your friend is a very lucky person. Uh, but it's not like that for most people. Most of us have to do other stuff. You have to network, you have to write lots of emails, you have to create stuff. It's, it's above and beyond the call of duty is no longer above and beyond the call of duty. It is the call of duty now, you know, doing 50 times as much is now the norm. And those who don't want to do it will not survive. But within that stuff that you do, you do have to start, start thinking sometimes, well, why am I doing it? Like my choice at the moment is making content here, making real perspectives, and there will be other sort of mini series of, of comedy sketches and that kind of stuff. Um, and so I had, I had a conversation with someone recently and they said to me, what do you want to do? Because that's the stuff you need to be pushing forward to, which makes sense. The only issue being that, as most actors, I want to do lots of stuff. I want to be in BBC dramas, Channel 4, you know, Dark, you know, Black Mirror, whatever it might be, Star Wars, movie. I, I, I want to do it all. I want to be in the Royal Court Theatre and the National and the Don Mar Warehouse. Of course, why not? If it's great work, why would you not want to do it? You know, I like lots of stuff. You know, I like dark gritty dramas and sci-fi and horror and thrillers. I'm a, you know, I'm a huge um, movie fan, a movie buff, so I, I would want to be in a vast range of stuff. But these days, if you're not on everybody's radar, then it's much better to be on one person's radar strongly rather than nobody's at all. Uh, and then later you can sort of diversify, which means th the rise of the USP, you know, the unique selling point has been more important. And so that, that's why I've been doing these, because yes, I love them and I love comedy. 
Um, and these are the things that make me laugh. But also because it's the things that I think can be my, my USP. I, I do them because I think I'm good at them. In terms of the business, I know my strengths and weaknesses and I know that um, I'm probably not going to be first in the queue to audition for, you know, Shakespeare at the Royal Shakespeare Company, you know, the RSC. I'm just not, you know, that's the, the realism in me. I don't come from that classical training background, so that's probably not going to be me. This, I can do. People always say, what's the thing you can do better than anybody? And it seems quite arrogant to think that. What can I do better than everybody? I, I, I don't know. Other than be me, which is always the answer that, that like a acting teachers will give, you're best at being you. Well, of course I am. You know what I mean? I don't need help to, to, to realise that. Yes, nobody can act like me. Nobody, nobody can act like anyone. You know what I mean? But there are a few things that hopefully you have the confidence that you can do. And things like comedy, improv, I have confidence in. I can do them. And in terms of putting content out there, creating stuff, it's stuff that I can do. Um, but when you do them continuously, the question does come up again and again. You know, why? Are you putting these things out because you want to use them as a springboard? Or are you doing them because you really love them? And hopefully it's a bit of both. But I'll tell you, it keeps going like that. You know, one day you think, ah, oh, do I even, do I, do I like, do I, do I love this? And the next day I think, well, of course I do. I, I find this funny. I find it funny and it's good and it's proactive to be creating and writing and, you know, filming and putting stuff out there. It's very good for you to be doing that stuff. And it doesn't preclude from liking other things. Um, and I think... It's impossible as an actor to push for everything. It's just not doable. You, you'd have to literally be writing 100 emails a day and know what emails they were to write, which is, again, a lot of people will advise, just keep writing emails, keep writing emails. Well, well to who? Because the information that's important doesn't release anywhere. Even if you dig and you know where to dig, it's purposely held back because they don't want people having access to it. You know what I mean? Um, the way casting works is that, uh, for those that don't know, is that, you know, a breakdown goes out and it's a very quick process sometimes. You know, per very purposely. If they, you know, the people that were casting Star Wars just put it out to the world, they would get hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people wanting to go up for it. When in fact, they don't have time. They have time to read 20 people. Of the hundreds of thousands that would want to do it, 20 people. For TV, it's about five. Um, so that window where they send it out to, to agents is very, very small. So having that time window and that perfect description of that part that would suit you is not something that goes to the public. So you... Having um, a love of everything, having a love of, of drama and sci-fi and comedy and this is great. And I suppose it will always be uh, a balance that I will probably struggle with. You know, is what I'm doing what I really want to do? Or is it because I think I, I should be doing it? I think if you can really, if you can really get that balance perfect, you're one of the lucky ones. And for the rest of us, I guess we'll just keep going back and forwards until we get there. So what about you? Are you certain that what you're doing is because you love it, you know in your heart, or are you doing it because you think it might help you out and be good for your life, your career, that kind of thing? Let me know in the comments, and as always, we can discuss. Uh, next week will be uh, episode five of Real Perspectives, which will be Guardians of the Galaxy. So from me, Mark on Life, I'll speak to you soon.